All right, today we're going to talk about the Betaflight 4.0 F3 board performance edition hex files, what those are, and then go on a little bit of a code details if you're interested in that at the end of the video. Okay, so as I've done in the past, following in the footsteps of Joe Lucet, I've cut the F3 board performance edition hex files. So what are those? Well, F3 boards, as you probably well know, uh, they're running out of space. The, you know, the firmware just has grown to a size that the flash on an F3 board is just not big enough to have all the features in it. So there's cut levels uh, depending on the board and the features with the board, so on and so forth. That's all defined in the code. The devs did all that, that good work. Uh, and they basically have it cut down. And I'll show that here at the end of the video. Essentially, uh, depending on the board, again, certain things are cut out. Uh, it really varies. Uh, most of the F3 boards, honestly, with 4.0 have almost everything in it. But uh, a handful, which are below here, uh, have certain features cut out. I've rejiggered some things to just cut out some different things. So bottom line is to make space, I've cut out things like PDWM signal support, some of these other protocols down here, including Crossfire. I am making the stretch. You pay $200 or $100 for Crossfire. You know, you could probably buy a $30 board, uh, F4 board. So I have taken out Crossfire. That may work for you, may not. Uh, servo support, I think that's a safe one to take out. And you can see the rest of the items right here that are taken out. And that makes up space to add in all these features. Now, some of these features on even the boards below are added, but not all. So this is... It, it's kind of a little complicated, but at the end of the day, the hex files below have all these features in them and all have these features cut out to make space. Now, when you're looking through this list and you say, well, I have an F3 board and that, you know, my hex file is not down here for that. That means that that F3 board, you know, Betaflight, the official release actually has all the content in it, has all the flight performance stuff in it. It had enough flash space. So the biggest ones that are the most difficult, honestly, are the Betaflight F3 the Omnibus, which are very popular boards, and some of these SP Racing uh, targets down here. So those are the, the toughest ones to get everything to fit. Uh, but these other ones in here as well did have a cut level that was filtering out some of this flight performance stuff. So if you're in Betaflight and you notice, you know, sometimes in the configurator you turn certain things on like D-min or, or other features, and then you save and then come back in, they're, they're turned off again. That means that that feature is not within your official release of Betaflight for your F3 target. So you can go here, if you see that target here, you can go ahead and download that hex file. So you just click on it, download it to your desktop or computer somewhere. And after you do that, you just go back into the Betaflight configurator, hit flash firmware, and instead of loading from the drop-down menu, I'll bring this over here because I know my face is in the way, you would hit load local and then pick that hex file and then just flash it. You don't actually even need to pick your target up here then. You just need to you know, have it all connected, uh, have your flight controller plugged in, that kind of a thing. Load local, grab the hex file, go ahead and hit flash and it'll push it onto the, the board. Okay, that is basically it. So if you're interested in using those, go ahead, they're right there. I will continue to make these updates as you know, Betaflight uh, 4.0.1, 0.2, 0.3, the maintenance editions come along. Maybe not every maintenance edition, but every so often. Honestly, if somebody bugs me, I will Go ahead then and merge the new content in and, and make one. So if it's something you really want and then it's you know a maintenance this and I skipped, just you know shoot me a message or whatnot and I'll usually get that done. If you are interested in a little bit more detail, let's go ahead and look at the code. So this is the Betaflight source code and you can get this from GitHub. And I have some videos. I'll put the links down below. I have a whole playlist on how you can clone a repository, you can fork the repository, things of that nature pull the code down and get it connected in. And this is this program we're using here is Atom. So check out that playlist if you're looking for those kind of details. The source code's under SRC. And then for the targets, it's under main targets. And these are all the board targets. Now, some of them are a little tricky. Uh, you know, for example, if it's a basically a board that's been cloned off of another board, like the SP Racing board has been cloned quite a bit. You can go into here and you can see like the Flip32 OSD, that has the same architecture of the SP Racing F3 board. So that target's actually built within the same thing for these other two, the Flip 
the IRC. So in here, this is the details of the target. Now with unified targets, it's cleaned up a lot. If you go into the target MK file, you can see the different boards. So this is the Flip32, uh, this is the Z Core F3. You can see the cut level. So let's also look at this for another cut level. Like I said, the Omnibus that has a cut level of, of nine. The higher the cut level, the more features that were cut out. So the lower the cut level, only a couple features were cut out. So if you can come down to here and see what I was kind of talking about, a lot of these are only cut level one, cut level two. So, you know, this really, these hard, didn't really have any, essentially these only had Spectrum support cut out of it. Um, in my Performance Edition, Spectrum supports in there, whether you need that or not, that's up to you, but it's very few features were cut out. And you can kind of look at the source code yourself and see, you know, if your F3 board really had a lot of stuff cut or not. To see what the cut levels are associated to, come down to this common pre dot h file click on that and if you scroll down here you can see the different um, lines of code so the f3 targets fit under this if statement where flash is greater than 128 and if you can look down through here every, basically these features are all added to the f3 targets then you go into the cut level so if it's a cut level of one that means it's less than 12 then it would have all these features if, you know one's less than 12 so it would have all these one's less than 11 have all those so on and so forth so you go all the way down to one it would basically have everything except for these items down here this gets your time from uh, the tyrannus obviously a one, cut level of one is not less than one it's equal to one so it would not have these functions whereas in my performance targets i did uh, include these two items here uh, obviously if it's cut level two so and so forth, you can go all the way up through here and see what has been cut out. Cut level 10 means that it's not getting these items, cut level 9, 8, so on and so forth. So most of the flight performance stuff is in most of the F3 boards. It's, it, it, it's board specific. Again, with the performance targets, all this flight performance is in each one of those hex files in my repo there. So how do you see that a little bit more clearly? If you go into my Betaflight repository, right here, just click Betaflight, click Branches, and then you can go into the 4.0 Performance Edition branch, and then you can go into Commits, and you can see this last commit, 4.0 Performance Edition Tweaks. Then down here, you can see how I added an underscore performance, just so in the hex file names, and then you can kind of go through and see that the red is taking out, the green is adding in. So I basically took out where it's defining and changed that code to undefined acro trainer, basically uh, commented out servo, so servo controls out of there, uh, yaw spin recoveries out of there, uh, telemetry for crossfire, so on and so forth. Then the other thing I did is essentially just go in and remove these if statements. So going right down for this line of code, it's gonna read these, it's gonna add all this content. You can see here we're changing this cut level from 10 to eight, and you can kind of examine this. So let's, for example, let's just look at this Crazy B F3 targets, because I know those come in a lot of little bind and fly, a lot of little, little, little whoops. I think that's even in the Mobula 7, I believe. So I'm going to click on this. This is the main official Betaflight repository. Click on that. I'm going to go into the target.make file, and you can see it's a cut level 2 uh, for both of those. So by default, it really almost has everything you know I have that in my performance targets but even in official release it almost has everything now on the contrary let's look at the beta flight f3 also another popular that has a cut level of 10 so let's go check out what's not in that for the official release so again we're backing up we're going into the common pre dot h file we're gonna go under this if flash size so right here this line 174 we're gonna go look at that and we're gonna go down to cut level 10 so it is missing uh, gyro low pass 2, launch control, dynamic low pass filters, daemon, throttle boost, integrated yaw, i term relax, RC smoothing, throttle linearization, TPA mode. Uh, those features are not in the official release. Same thing for like the Omnibus and some of the SP Racing targets as well. That's really what the Performance Edition targets are. Um, they just have some additional features for some of these boards. Again, the Betaflight F3, the Omnibus F3. Uh, some of the SP Racing F3 targets as well, not all of them, but some of them. 
uh, more like the Minis and, and some of those other, the Nero, those SP Racing targets. You can go in, hopefully this helps you, you understand what's kind of going on in the background there. You can go look at your target, see what the cut level is, go into the cut level in Betaflight at any time, see what might not be added in the, the upcoming release, and then, you know, my goal is to keep is doing the performance edition targets as, as long as I can, and maybe this gets a little bit simpler as the unified targets uh, gets incorporated in full force. For now, they're there. Enjoy. Thanks again. I hope this helped.